Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm going to show you in Design Space how to put together your project to make this cute little cake topper for Mother's Day. And we have a lot of different options. I'm going to show you where to get the files. Um, I am using my skin tone collection, and I wanted to show you here before we get to the other page of where to get all the files. But you can see here are the range in colors. You get eight different colors and you get three sheets of each. So you can see it really gives you um, a nice range in skin tone colors. All right, so let's go over. Give me just one second. I will be live on the Barely Art social media, all their different social media platforms. We're gonna be assembling this on Friday so you can assemble it with us. It should be a lot of fun. All right, so let's move this and I'm gonna switch over. Okay, so what you want to do is in your browser, you want to go to the Barely Art web page and right away you can see my paper collection. You can either go back, it's on the front page and click on it. And what you'll see is when you scroll down is that if you get the useful collection, you also get the 3D paper flowers and you can add the mom and kids SVG file and um, it's $22.99. So once you get that, then what you wanna do is you wanna go into Design Space, and I've already downloaded all my files, so I'm gonna show you how to recreate this one specifically. So you can see um, I, I've uploaded, but you can change out your hairstyle, um, you can change out the different versions, but I'm gonna show you the one that I did, um, which is this one and this, we're going to add the flowers and the mom and the baby. We're going to add to the canvas. So um, I am going to shrink this down just for a bit so that you can see everything on my screen for the moment. Um, with the flowers, okay, so with the image, what I did was I kept it at this size. So it's four inches in width and about seven inches in height. So you can see it's a great size. You can put this either on top of your gift. So like kind of like a gift topper. Um, you can put this um, just like on a on a straw and it could be a photo prop. It could be um, into your flowers. So a flower pick. Um, you have lots of options here. So but like I said, I kept it about seven inches. So with that, what I did was for the flowers, I just changed this to about five inches. So I'm going to go over here in width and put five. And that sizes the flowers to be um, to go with the, the image that you're using. So um, now that we have this, let's go and make it bigger so that you can see it now. All right, with the flowers, um, what, what you're supposed to do is these flowers, I think originally when they were designed, they were meant to be the big flowers. So you would be cutting down this part right here and, um, gluing them so that they prop up. I'm actually using them to be really small flowers. So I'm using them in a different way. Uh, so keep that in mind in what, what I'm doing, what I'm showing you today. Okay. So I did two flowers. I kept this one. So let's ungroup it. Um, so you select it, and you can see it's highlighted, and we're going to go and ungroup it. Okay, so I'm using this flower here, and I'm also using this one here. So I'm going to move these two over. I'm using a circle base, and I love the centers. I'm going to move those over. I did not use any leaves on this one. So you have so many different versions here, and, so, and they're so pretty, so cute but I'm just gonna delete it for our purposes, okay? So the way I like to do flowers um, for this project too is that um, I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it twice. I'm gonna do it in two different shades. Um, I did a really, really pale pink. So what you wanna do is for this one, I'm going to duplicate it eight, for eight total times, okay? So here's, oops, and I'm going to duplicate this. Oops, I'm going to grab all this and duplicate it. I'm going to move it down here. And then I'm going to grab these. 
I'm going to move this up for a second. Grab these and duplicate it. So now I have four of each, right? So I'm going to grab it again and duplicate it so I have my eight petals for each one of the sizes. Okay. Then on these, um, I did, you know, I, I have two flowers for each and I would just, you're going to have some space. I would just cut a few of these. Um, it's always nice to have extras. You can always layer them. And if for some reason um, you didn't get a good cut, you have extras here. So same thing with the circle. Um, while we're only doing two flowers, because there's going to be space, I'm just going to cut four, four insides. Okay, we've got that. Let's go and look at this. Um, and also, let's go back and upload the different hairstyles. I just want to show you one version of it so that you can see how you could change that. Okay, I'm going to make this smaller again so that you can see the different hairstyles. Okay, so here is our mother and child, and I'm going to ungroup it. Now, if you want to change out your hair, like even just the bun, let's ungroup this as well. What's nice about this is it comes with its own offset, so it's going to sit on top of your image. So you can see it just goes like this, and you can change out the hair color, you can move this over, and it's all, it's just so easy to customize. And I love that we're not seeing the faces, we're not seeing like the individual fingers, um, it's more about just the feeling of being a mom and being celebrated this weekend or celebrating your own mom. Um, I know my mom loved this. So, okay. Um, I kept the images the same. Um, what you can do is let's ungroup this even further because I want to show you the baby. So you could have another baby. You can just add another one, right? And we could go and you can flip it. Um, horizontally so you can have I'm going to put this back so you can kind of see it's um, it's just such a nice file to um, to be able to to work around and this one could just be holding on to you um, you can have the other image with um, here, let's go back so that you can see it really quickly So you can have the two moms and you can swap out the babies. You can see that there's lots of options. And same thing here, you can, you can see the hair, the shirts, um, all of that can be changed and can be moved around. So all right, let's go back into design space. All right, I am keeping this hair. I'm gonna remove this baby. And you can go, I'm gonna remove all of this for now. And in your panel over here, you can swap out the, you can change the colors. Um, so if you want the hair to be darker, to remind you to cut on brown paper, black paper, whatever it is, you can swap it out here and change out the hair. Now, the only thing that I did was I grabbed this whole thing and I did an offset of 0.05. So you want to type that in and hit tab and I'm going to apply. That layer, I didn't acetate. And it just, um, it, it made the hair strands just not so flimsy. Um, and then also it just made the whole thing sturdier. So I liked having it on there. Um, you could see it a little bit and there was just something that, I don't know, it added to the, the project. You don't need to add that layer. The other thing that I would recommend doing is and um, let's move all this out here for a minute oh and with this layer because the offset what you want to do is you want to go to contour and hide all and that will give you one solid um, acetate layer the other thing that you can do with this layer is um or actually i'm sorry not with this layer but with this layer i would make a copy of it okay and then on this one um Go ahead and click on this and we're just going to remove the skin portion and we're just going to leave this. This will be for the back side 
so that your straw is sandwiched in between this layer and this layer. So when you look at the back of this, you don't see the straw. I mean, this is totally a preference uh, whether you want to show the straw or not show the straw. All right, so that is all. And then you're just going to cut this. And then on Friday, like I said, it will also be on Barely Arts YouTube channel, so you can always go back if you miss it, how to assemble the flowers and just the whole thing. Um, I did end up doing my shirt and the little romper bottom. Um, I matched it so that, and, and my daughter and I, for many years, we matched a lot of outfits. <laughs> so it was just another, you know, another little touch that I absolutely loved. Um, I did her hair in a slightly different brown color. Um, so yeah, those are all options, but it's a super simple project and I absolutely loved it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and please tag us if you use our skin tone colors or if you just make the project. Um, all right, I will see you guys later. Have a great day.